Hey guys, this is Malo6SYT and welcome back to another Life is Strange Remastered gameplay. So last time we just started the second chapter which is entitled Out of Time and we woke up from the dormitories and we talked to everyone and we found out that Dana is now okay and so is, uh, well, Juliet. But Juliet was watching Kate Marsh's video but we told her not to do that just so that because if she doesn't want to be like Victoria and doesn't want what Victoria did to her happen to others, then she shouldn't do it as well. Don't bully people. And then we we went to the bathroom and we uh, comforted Kate Marsh. And while we were at the shower, well, we heard Victoria and uh, Taylor bullying Kate Marsh again about the video. And then Victoria wrote the link of the video on the mirror, which I erased afterwards so that there would be no more bullies and then we went to Kate Marsh's room to return her book and actually when I went to my dorm room someone was threatening me which is probably Nathan Prescott because I reported him to the principal there was a huge warning or a threat message on the wall with a photo and someone just drawn my slate so yeah and then we talked to Kate Marsh. I got to know her by looking at all of her things in her bedroom. And she told me everything about what happened to her. That she just took one sip of wine and then she acted like she's not herself. Making out with a lot of men. And then she told us that Nathan Prescott, which is similar to um, Chloe's story, took her to a white room or something. And she was drugged. And now she wants to find out whether Nathan Prescott is good or bad and I'm I think he's kind of bad I don't know maybe because he's just under the influence or something so yeah um we actually told um Kate Marsh not to report that to, to the police although she was offended but I don't know she's not in the right mind to call the police without much evidence so I suggested that we take evidences first so yeah so i hope you get everything that i said so let's just press any button and continue to episode um two out of time so yeah before we continue be sure to subscribe to my channel for more life is strange remastered gameplay so let's press continue okay here we are um outside the dormitories i guess I hope I don't miss anything to take a picture of. Okay, that's Samuel. I feel sorry for him about last time. Okay, let's just read what's uh what is the new stuff are here. Hello world, October 8th. I woke up this morning a different person. Even if nobody knows yet, after yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving Chloe's life among the other cray cray, as Victoria might say say, events at Blackwell I have to assume everything is different now. And I thought exposing my photos to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about that freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse. But the local meteorolo meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Not being Warren, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are a team again. That has to be destiny. Oh my god, this is so adorable. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord knows I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October count country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. It's so annoying. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? Well, the satisfaction of being above everyone else, I guess that's what she gets. We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale, just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria could make me feel dirty in a shower. The plot thickens and I can't get out, so after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage. Only Nathan would be this disturbed. 
the thought that Nathan had was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. Yeah, we do. As if things here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Gate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. Yeah, all the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo god then, and Kate is the opposite of emo or god. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wished I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. But I don't think that would be appropriate. Well, Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just the video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER and she thinks he did something to her, but she doesn't remember that. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what the fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she, could, if she should go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drunk. That video doesn't help her see... That video doesn't help her case at all and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against the whole Prescott Empire. Not, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I am actually doing. Besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booted me out of her room. Hello, everyday hero. Ring, ring. Okay, um, nothing new. So yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, what am I gonna do here? Scaffolding? Is he done the painting? The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Oh yeah, he does. Um, well, wait. Uh, let me turn on the subtitles. Is it okay now? The paint job looks. Nope. Great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna... Oh my god, is he feeding the birds? They're not running away from him. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, um, I guess we should talk to him. Or look at him first ah, and talk to him. There's Samuel, up early. Already yeah. communing with the critters. Yeah, let's speak to him. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Okay, um, the animals? That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Oh. What animals do you see in the forest? Um, I saw a doe, the usual. Well, I saw a Don't doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like yeah. he was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Okay. Sign about your I'm wearing a doe shirt. What do I know? My mm -hmm. spirit animal is a squirrel. Wow, okay, squirrel. It seems so. So, Let's talk about what the did snow. you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Yeah. Another message from the earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Okay. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. He always speaks in a third will. person point of view or something. Okay, um, let's look somewhere else. Uh, is there anything else to go to? How about here? Anything I can do here? Let's look at this. What's that? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Um, I don't know. This is a little bit... Creepy. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Oh, wow. She's sexy there, okay? That's hot of her. Oh, we can rewind time and talk about it? Is that it? Let's look at the water pump. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Yeah, we won't. Let's look at the axe. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And yeah, it is. And easy to sneak into. Let's look at the box. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Okay. Um, is that all? Okay, I guess we can rewind or reverse time and talk to him about it. I guess. Let's do it. 
We're gonna do it. Okay, let's speak to Samuel hey, about Samuel. it. Oh. Okay, um, Rachel. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? Yeah, why are I'm there photos of her? her? Sorry to pry, she says while well, prying. Huh? Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care. You know her? You know so her? did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, oh wow, okay. You talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Well, yeah, I do. That's one okay, thing. Okay, let's I... just skip those. Let's just pretend that we talk about everything. Don't laugh. Oh. I'm just skipping it, just for the sake of having been able to talk to him, and that's done. Take care, Max. Yeah, take and keep care too. To the animals. Yes, I'm gonna keep it. Okay. Um, what can we see here? Make art, not war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's look at this. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Well, but let's... I could you release the Kraken. Release Come the Kraken? On, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, wow. We grabbed it for the squirrel? I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, squirrel, take it! Take it the food! Take the food! Oh my god, it did! Oh my god, can we take a photo of that? Hello, squirrel. Oh my god, we can. Wowzer, it's hard to get this close to a squirrel. Yeah, it is. Let's take a photo of it. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Oh, wow. That's so good. I love it. Okay, now we have that. So we're taking photos of animals now. Okay. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Okay, where else do we look? I guess we're gonna talk to Taylor. Is that Taylor? Yeah, I guess it is Taylor. Um, Rachel owes the money. Pay a bitch. Okay, someone... Someone is... Oh, uh, well. Looking to, um... Collect payment from her. Squirrel! That's cute. Oh my god, we can take a look at that? What happened to it? Oh, Shit. someone covered the it up. The was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. Is that my fault? One little thing changed the course of that window's life. Okay. Okay, then. Let's talk to um, her. Let's look at her first and talk to I've her. I have actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Uh-huh, yeah. Let's speak Hi, to her. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Okay, uh, let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Mm -hmm. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're mm -hmm. funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Um, Kate's a video? Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what mm. happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll okay. Live. Victoria? Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Best friends? Bossy best friends? I guess friends. I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But oh. Whatever. We've had our She's going through something. Taylor. Conversation over. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor. Okay, Long wait. We can Team talk Victoria. about her mom, maybe. I'm so sorry about that. Maybe Hi, I was. Hi, um... Okay, about your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. Yeah. I'm so sorry. What What happened to her? Yeah. What well, happened if you to do her? Care. My mom had back surgery. Victoria back surgery? was there for me. Oh like wow. For Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why uh -huh. I wanted to talk. I'm yeah. Glad we did. Okay. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. Okay. We should do it again. Oh. See you later. So we're cool now? Okay. Stuff changes when you talk to people differently. Okay, then. 
Um, now we know why she hangs out with Victoria. It's like she owes her for being there for her mom. Private number again? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a polite, final polite warning. Oh, whatever, Mr. Prescott. I don't really care. The storm will destroy Arcadia Bay and it doesn't matter. Let's look at this. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns Anyway, my whatever. Oh, hey, let's look at him. Warren is out in You're waiting for him. Too. You're waiting for looks me. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Yeah, might be waiting for me or someone else. Let's speak. Warren, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Waiting for a call? For a call? I, mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Oh, um, thank you. That was intense. That was that intense. Was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Yeah, we oh, owe him. Yes, you do. Oh I my God, yeah. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm yeah. some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. Yeah, you he stood is up a, to a hero. Bully and it was awesome. It was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. Uh huh. Well, um, it's Chloe Price. Friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Yeah. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Oh my god, um, I busted him. Don't get involved. Well, I busted him. I busted him. him in the bathroom yesterday Yeah, let's tell gun. everyone. I don't really care anymore. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Um, yes or no? I don't know. Um, sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. I don't understand, oh, but I'm just I gonna thought. say cool. yes. I'll text you the info. Okay. This action will have consequences. Okay, whatever that is. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Really? You're gonna reject Brooke? Well, I don't think she'd like that. But okay, fine, let's go. Go take the bus. Okay, are we at the diner now? Okay, okay, no, not yet. We're just still in the dormitory area. I David thought we were going to, to take Nathan the bus. Cannot be a oh, good wow. Thing. What's going on? This has something to do with Kate. What's or going Rachel. on? What the heck? Okay, now David Madsen is gonna get in trouble. I can sense it. I can feel it. Okay, let's take the bus. We're taking the bus, and is that... Um, okay, hello, bus driver. Okay, I forgot his name. What's your name again? Yeah, that cool guy. Okay, we put our earphones on as if I have any music in this game. Okay, now we're going on a trip to the diner. To Will's diner. <laughs> Okay, is it that far? We're still traveling. What do we see? What are those? Oh my god, are those whales? Are those whales? What the heck? Are they dead? Why are they why are they on the shore? I mean if you see dead whales on the shore, there's something bad going on. The whales must be choking underwater because of the lack of oxygen due to pollution. Probably. That's sad. Um, Max always looks so sad. Everyone in this game looks so sad. Are we near yet? Are we there yet? That's a very long boss. Blackwell Academy Transportation. Where are we now? Oh my god. Oh, is that the lighthouse? Yeah, that's the lighthouse. I can see it from here. Oh my god, this is the place that will first get hit by the tornado, right? Okay, here we are. Are those pigeons? I don't- I can't really identify birds apart. Oh my god, we're so near the lighthouse. Uh-huh. 
Are we going down? Yeah, we're going down. What? Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. Two whale steiner. Open 24 it. hours. Okay. Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lot. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Okay. Um. Hello, old guy. You were talking I bet about he's something. Seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Yeah, he did. Maybe let's speak to him. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Oh, you want the lottery? lottery? Ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Wow. Okay, you're gonna be nope, rich. I don't want to go there. Okay. Um. Hello, woman. You look so white. She looks and busy pale. and stressed. Yeah, she's so stressed. Let's speak to her. Hi. You look lost. Yeah. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Oh, uh, I just got off. I don't know. I don't I know. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Oh. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Okay. Well, She's good moving luck. out. Thanks. I sure need it. Okay. Hello, Bowie. Running late. Grab a boot at the diner. Mom will feed you. Okay. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Okay. Um, anything new here? Uh-huh. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. <laughs> Seriously? Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we were just left after we just left him in the lot. Adieu, oh Warren. I only told him a little about what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Yeah. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately. <laughs> just so he could have his own human time machine, seriously? Or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did... Say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Oh, brother zoned. Anyway, I definitely need a movie escape. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David. Yeah, which is weird, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Wheels Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years. But it looks exactly the same. Although now, there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate, old ships in the big ocean. Okay. Um, anything here? Um, okay, we don't want to go there, I know. Okay, I keep seeing this scar. Okay, um, uh, what's in here? Can I check the cars? Check the cars. Uh, why is there Frank's RV again? Why is it everywhere? Is he following Chloe around or is Chloe taking him around? Hello, sir. Um, can we talk to people here? I don't want to go outside. Um, newspaper. Let's look at the newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. Okay, let's read it. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Okay, the, the Independent. Weather Service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. Okay, no one has an explanation for it, even meteorolo meteorologists. Hello, man. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Okay, he's looking at it. Like he's so surprised about something? Excuse me. Probably the snowfall. Sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> okay, the snow was odd. How long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. Seriously? I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Missing girls, Rachel Amber, this town is a mystery. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Uh-huh, okay then. Excuse me, 
I have to read my horoscope. Horoscope? Okay, I want to read horoscope too. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay then, we don't want to go there. Um, let's just uh, look somewhere else. What's in here? Anything I can interact with in here? Yes or no, the car. Um, oh, a homeless person. Hello. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Yeah, I hope so too. Let's speak to her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, oh. I go to Blackwell Academy. Okay. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Seriously? Um, do you know about Joyce Price? You must Price? know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Really? I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Uh -huh. Married to a oh, real Christ. prick. Oh my god, a real prick. David Madsen. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. What? Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Yeah, he better. Um, how about the, um, Arcadia how Bay? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. A thousand years? I've gone through the same changes as the town. Okay, um, what changes? What happened? What, what changes? What changes to the town? Yeah. Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy mm -hmm. bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Oh. Out of home. Like that me. Sucks. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Uh-huh, okay. How about the Prescott I family? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They uh -huh. once done good things for Arcadia Bay. This one? Those days are dead. Lack uh -huh. anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Okay, thank you for speaking Come to me. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. Okay then, um, let's just uh, have a look around here. I don't know what I'm doing here, but we're here anyway. Oh, there's a dog. Oh my god, is that Frank? Let's take a photo of it. Okay. Um, he didn't notice that. Okay, there are flies. It's getting a little disgusting here. But we're here anyway. Now, what is this? Uh, Frank and his dog. Okay, then. What is this? Two whales diner, the sun. Okay, we gotta take a picture of that somewhere here. That's my mission, to find that spot by the tail of the whale. Oh, that rhymes. Tail of the whale. Um, is there a way for me to take a picture of it? Yes. Oh my god, I think there is. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Okay, um, nope. Yeah, there's nothing yet. Okay, let me go here. Um, no, I'm gonna get stuck here. Um, can we talk to this guy? Uh, flyers? What are those flyers? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Um, restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, save our bay, and the man-made trout in the bay. Okay, then. Um, let's talk to this, uh, oh, fisherman? He's a fisherman? Okay, let's look at him. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Okay, save our city. Okay, let's speak Good to morning. him. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. Yeah. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Oh no. Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Really? You did good? You own your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. Oh. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. 
Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Uh -huh. the Prescott's and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh, no. Okay, Prescott the Prescott's family? Prescott's have a lot of power. They yeah. might rename the town Prescott Bay. Oh, my God. If okay, I get it. You know them? They own my school. Do you know, Do them? You know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's okay. not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Uh -huh. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah. I think I've talked my quota for the year. Okay, then. Um, Let's look around here. Okay, there's the window. I'm so dirty. It's still there. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Yeah, nobody took your advice. They clearly didn't. Okay, let's have a look around here. What's this? Call to another universe. Okay. Um, what's this? Hello? Uh, stop oh. that! Stop! No barking. Oh my god, RV? Let's There's look at it. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Okay. Okay, fine, whatever. I guess I'm not gonna do that. Is there anything I can take a photo of? No. Old guy, woman, nothing. Hey, okay, how about that? Can we take a photo of that? Nope. We can't really take a photo of everything here, right? Not even the sign. I guess we're gonna head in just to see what else we may trigger. Okay, let's open that. The missing person poster is even here. Okay, then. It's all over the city. Man, um, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Okay, but anyway, um, let's look at this. What's this? Good lord. Fan Talk estates. about apocalyptic. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Wow. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. Okay, Prescott's own literally everything. Poster, what's this? Now oh, that brings back memories. 25th oh, Annual loved the Happy Halloween Bazaar. Mayor Cotron leads the kitty costume parado. Wow. Parade, okay. Um, Sunday, October 27, 9 p.m. to 3 p.m. Main Street Arcade Bay. Great pumpkin carving. Contest, local vendors and food trucks, tricks trick and treats, oh, and happy Halloween. Okay, then. Um, another fisherman here. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Yeah, they don't have any you job any anymore. Big ones today? If by big you mean none, then oh. sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Okay. Let me mourn over my eggs. Still mourning. Thank you. Okay. They're all so disappointed. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Let's speak to her. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay, she's hyper. Oh yeah, hello again! Back to breakfast, eh? Okay, uh, that's annoyingly loud. Let's look at this. What's this? Gumball machine? Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Okay, then let's look at the leaf that. This guy has serious corners. Okay, the, join the Costos. All day sea adventure. And now charter the legendary seaman for your own ocean voyage. Jack Costo and his undersea world. A local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with, in, with 30 years experience will take you. Your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Base. Lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Daily and weekly excursions rate 75 to 125. For further details, please visit our website. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. Okay. More leaflets, let's look at that. Why does that so not sound fun? Okay, Moby Dick Tours, explore Arcadia Bay the right way. Discover exciting history on the high sea. Journey in total safety and comfort. Fully equipped 40 to 50 foot vessels. 
day and night trips available. Okay, this is us, blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever those are. I'm what is this Chloe now? Check this out with me. Okay, there's a Sasquatch? Okay, Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild woods of Arcadia Bay with respected cryptozoologist Chuck Pierce Jr. Author of Bigfoot Myth or Science and Bigfoot Monster or Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary Bigfoot, I Believe in You. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge of lore, legend, and fact, and you'll end the day casting your very own Bigfoot print based on an area known only to Chuck Pierce Jr. Okay then, let's look at the poster. Is that a poster? The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Okay, Blackwell Academy, Arcade Bay, Oregon. Global excellence in arts and science over for over 100 years and counting. Free campus tours every third Saturday. Okay, let's look at the postcards. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Okay, there's a cat photo. Okay. Um, Kate Marsh, love you long time. Um, it's red here. Graffiti. Thank you, redneck poet. Arcadia gay sucks deck. Okay, whatever. Graffiti. Flush before pissing on the floor. What the heck? That graffiti has been here forever. Uh-huh. I am to misbehave. I aim to misbehave. Okay. So many um, graffitis here. Fire walk with me. Okay, let's take a photo of that. We're just collecting photos now. Okay. Um, uh, okay, we have that. Cool. Uh, what else? Let's look at this. Gross. Rachel uh, A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. Okay, that's disgusting. Why would people do these things or write those stuff? Um, let's talk to the dude. Let's look at the dude. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. Yeah, let's speak to him. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Okay. Let me suffer quietly. All right then, suffering. Oh, there's a cop. Hey, cop. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Yeah, that's true. Let's speak to him. Hello, sir. Hi, Hello, young sir. lady. You look a little lost. Yeah, well, I'm hungry, Just though. Hungry and thinking about what to eat. Yeah. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can mm -hmm. never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie? Or grilled mac and cheese. I want mac and cheese. Um, Chloe? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Oh, that's not good. Who told you? No big thing. Who told uh, you? Who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce uh -huh. didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Um, I know her. I yeah. know her. Then you know she's a handful. Uh, she can be? She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. Yeah, I, I am a good friend. I wish you would be a great friend. daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. I am. How, uh, how about do you know Joyce? Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And oh, Joyce, wow, like okay. she's our, our mother. Mother? Okay then, David. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. Uh, Are I wouldn't you? use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Well, acquaintance? Okay, just curious. He has a reputation. Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Okay, then. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you By for the, the way, conversation. One thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I oh, usually stay away from, stay the away RV. from sketchy parked vehicles. Well, yeah. Policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. Frank That's all Powers. I can say for now. Yeah. I should finish up my coffee and get he to work. He deals drugs, people. Okay, thank you for that conversation. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Okay, who are these? Justin is such a mellow oh, dude. Oh, Justin and Trevor? 
Okay then. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Yeah, he just asked her out. Okay, let's speak to What's Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Oh wow, okay. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Um, I am. I am always taking photos. Yeah, I am always doing I that. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all bad your homework, boy. school girl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. Okay. See you later, Max. See you later. Let's talk later when I'm not so high. Okay, then let's speak to hey, him, Trevor. Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I did. Dana's room. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, yeah I did. And I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How oh. did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Really? Max. Okay then. Thank you for you around, that Max. information, I guess. Um, look at these guys. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. Okay, let's speak to him. I don't feel like talking right now. Okay, I then. I deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Okay, then. I said over and out. Okay. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Okay, let's speak to uh, him. Hello? Yeah, hello. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Um, everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Seriously? Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. What? Joyce rules. You're rude. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. Okay. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Okay then. You hate her? Truckers have such a romantic life. It's not romantic all the after all. Okay, um we can sit there already. Let's look at here first. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Well watching? Okay then. Uh, there's a picture. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Okay, to Joyce. Best burgers and gentle vibe in Oregon. Further. Okay. Whoever that is. Let's look at this. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Okay, um, before I do that, let's look at this first. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Oh, wow. Fishes. White sturgeon. Caught by Dick Weber, Steelhead Trout, caught by Andy Berry, Chinook Salmon, caught by Rich Conrad. Well, okay, that's so cool. Um, I guess we can't interact with her yet. Let's look at here. Drool. Oh my god. Everything. I want cookies, though. Um, we can't go through here. We can't interact with her yet. Right? So we're just gonna wait and sit, I guess, later. Let's use this first. Um, guitar tune, banjo tune. Guitar tune! Okay, let's pretend that there's music then. Okay, then let's um, sit and wait for something. Okay, um, before that, I think that's all for today now since I saw the saving icon. And that's already a lot. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed all that. So yeah, so be sure to like comment share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more life is strange remastered gameplay so thanks for watching goodbye so you know chloe sadly we all know chloe down at the station <sighs> poor joyce just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room uh who told you that i didn't hear it on the police scanner joyce said the weed belonged to chloe's friend but i highly doubt that joyce didn't tell you who she wouldn't afraid i'd go arrest somebody as if i would i just tell the loser to stay the hell away from chloe